Welcome back to Homestead Aquarius. The day's just about over, and I uh, thought maybe I'd slip in a quick one today. Wanted to let y'all know something, though. Something a lot of y'all don't know, really. Very few people know this, but uh, I can read minds. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. I can read your mind. <laughs> you don't think so? Well, let me tell you what you're thinking right now. You're thinking to yourself, okay, what kind of mail did you get? And who sent it? And what's in it? That's what you're thinking right now. Am I right? <laughs> Let's get to that. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you. You're lying if you're saying that. It's not what you're thinking. All right, let's go in here. Now, <laughs> I've already seen. I took a peek in here. And I know what's inside here. And it's burning you up. You want to know too, right? This is pretty cool. Um, you can see right here who it's from. That's right. That's uh, Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. What she sent me is in return, she didn't have to do this, uh, she won some of my rotten peach seeds and uh, she wanted to send, send me something. And it's something I've been um, wanting to have here for a long time. It's an absolutely beautiful ornamental plant that has some, you know, has one or two other uses. Um, if we're going to one hand this on the mailbox. Let me see if we can pull this out. I have been wanting these for quite a while. Um, the first time I ever saw these, <laughs> I think I'm going to lose it. Let's get you right back in here. All right. The first time I ever saw this plant, it was at a solar uh, home tour. Uh, there's a little, for lack of a better word, like a colony. Okay, There's several homes um, uh, in one general area that have all got solar homes and they're living off grid. It's a pretty awesome thing. Every year they do a solar home tour. Um, and these folks had some of these growing in their landscape, beautiful plant, exotic looking. I want to have some one day. Um, and so she sent me some seeds. She said, what kind of seeds are you looking for? And I'll send you some. Well, I look here. All right, I'm going to have to get, get my two hands in here. Hang on. Y'all going to sit right there. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Yeah, you're sitting there. Oh, yo. <laughs> I forgot this had sticky stuff on it. You hear that? Listen, listen. Listen. We snapped in some bubble wrapping. Okay. We got we got bubble wrap. <laughs> Who likes to do that? I do. And you know, here's the thing. <laughs> when I sent out all those peach seeds. Uh, and the other stuff, it was done just like this right here. <laughs> it was done with no frills. I didn't put stickers in there, no cards, no notes, nothing. And I know that's how we like to do things, but y'all, I had so much going on. I just want to get those out. I wasn't going to handwrite notes and cards and everything like that to send all those peep seeds out. So I apologize. Uh, if you were wanting that, maybe the next ones I send out will have a card in it. <laughs> Got to thinking about that later. But uh, anyhow, here's what we got. She sent me some castor beans. You ever heard of castor oil? Well, that's where it comes from. So far as I know, that's where it comes from. Um, that's what we're going to say. Look at that. Castor beans. They look a little bit like ticks. Let me see if I can open one of this, open this up one-handedly. Now you do have to be careful about these because these have some, they have some pretty um, powerful compounds on here, and I'll let you 
learn about those yourself. Um, they're good for killing moles too as a result of some of those compounds. Look at that castor beans. They're pretty. But they do look kind of like a tick. Got that funny little funny little thing on there. Anyhow, that's what castor beans look like. And I'm going to have those growing in the spring. Can't wait to get them going. It's going to be a beautiful plant. Um, so, Old Ways Gardening and Prepping, thank you very much for sending those to me. I wish you good luck with your, um, with your peach seeds. And um, hope you continue growing those out and sharing them with the rest of the world. Uh, thank you all for watching. Y'all be good.